Well, I've got another old Hornby model in distress here. We've got a slipping drive gear. We can turn the wheels. Uh, so I've fitted a different gear in. Look at that. Okay, so on this double gear, I'm not sure if that's a split that's been glued. It kind of looks like it. But there's a broken tooth. Well, unfortunately, they're all out of stock as well. So I'll get in touch with Alan and uh, give him the bad news that uh, on this occasion, I'm not able to repair this because the, the spare parts are not available. Hi again folks, how is all doing? So this is just a wee follow-up video on the Duchess of Sutherland I failed to repair for Alan uh, due to the non-availability of specific parts at the time. But let's bring it out.
So yeah, she's now running very nicely. Um, first off, thanks to everyone who commented on the previous video I did on this locomotive and to everyone who sent me emails suggesting part numbers and solutions etc. Uh, when I was looking for the double gear, which was part number X8849, um, I looked into other locomotives that used the same motor, of which there are quite a few, and uh, as a few people suggested, part number X9181, uh, which is uh, used in a number of models such as the 4MT, 4P, Q1 and Fowler locomotives, um, it, it looked like the one to get. Also part number X6550 used in the Thompson 01, looked like it was the same as well. So if you're looking for a double gear part number X8849, which you can't get anywhere, then try looking for parts X9181 or X6550, which seem to be readily available in places like New Model Shop, Lendons, Peter Spares, etc. So when I fitted the replacement gear and tried running the locomotive, it ran, but it was uh, thumping and lurching a bit in the uh, forwards direction. It was fine going backwards, but uh, just noisy and lumpy going forwards, which kind of suggested to me that the drive gear was worn or something. Um, so I really wanted to replace the wheel set because, you know, I'd uh, swapped the drive gear out from a, another model that had, uh, had the wibbly wobblies. So, you know, I wasn't convinced that uh, the drive gear was going to be any good. And also, as far as I was aware, you know, there could well have been problems with the existing wheels. However, as I covered in the previous video, uh, the wheel set part number X8943 just wasn't available. So off I went looking for an alternative wheel set in the same way as the double gear. One or two people contacted me with uh, a few suggestions which was helpful, um, one of which was part X6389, which is from a later version of the Duchess. Um, I could only find one available in Peter Spares, but I also found part number X9323 and X9342, which were noted as being for class A1, A3 and A4, but uh, they had the correct diameter and the correct bearings, so pretty sure they would, they would work just as well. Uh, I went for the X6389 set from Peter Spears as it meant I could do away with the spindle for the speedometer and uh, also the X9323 and X9342 only seemed to come in green or weathered varieties. So when they arrived I fitted them and as I thought the locomotive then ran absolutely fine. Yet again fitting a new wheel set has solved a running issue. It's a little bit annoying that Hornby don't standardise their part numbers over all their models uh, I'm sure I'm not the first person to think that a model wasn't repairable because the correct part number wasn't available. But never give up, you know, go looking at the same parts used on similar models from, you know, around the same time as of manufacture and chances are you'll find a, a usable alternative. I've actually had a similar thing happen with a couple of backing models too, so it's not just Hornby. Anyway, pleased to get this model running again and I'm sure Alan will be too. I'll get her packed up and sent back to him. Catch you later, folks.